Welcome back to this side of 40 and this is your girl Lil and this is the eyeshadow look I have on today. Um, this video is about what I'm doing to kind of compensate now that the palette I'm using for pan is old as time. So this week it'll be my first, well my first week introducing a palette of the week. Now last week I tried it for the first time and it's just making it so that I can have a touch and a feel for other makeup in my collection. So let's get into it. This is the palette I used last week. This is the palette by Milani, and this is Most Love Mattes, and these are the shades that are in it. Now, as you can see, I got a little bit of wear in these four colors at the bottom. Um, those are more of my colors that I can work with. This shade I was able to work with as well. I didn't use any of these over here. Um, usually what happens when I have lighter eyeshadows in a pan as I'm panning it, I put them to the side and give those lighter shades to some of the girls I work with. So, this is the palette I used last week. I had a lot of fun with it, and I'm glad that I took this cue from Gypsy Rose here on um, YT. And she's also a fantastic lady, and so I'm glad that she's been sharing that. I watch her videos all the time on the palette of the week. So, moving along, my next palette of the week is... The Olive Palette by Beauty Creations. Um, if you've been with me since last year, you would know that um, when I got this, Grandma and Mommy and I went over to um, a, a makeup blowout sale here in Phoenix. And this was one of the items I purchased. I believe it was like 10 to $12. Um, and I'll be honest, I've been in love with it ever since I purchased it. It's been easy for me to work with. And it is my color palette. This has a lot of natural um, stone tones in it. And then this color right here has a shift to it. Let me see if you guys can see it. See, it has a little iridescent shift to it. I love that about this palette. Um, so let's talk about the shades I used today. So... Today I use this color up here, then I use this one here as well with the black from my other palette and I used this color here. Now um, I'm going to use this palette for the next week just to see if it helps me because I know that Milani palette last week helped out a whole lot. It gave me enough for me to be able to work with. I will not be using shimmer shades from any other palette other than my pan as old as time because I'm coming to the end and I want to be able to pan it properly. So that's that. Um, I thank you all for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe and I will see you next week.